there is a fine line between madness and adventure and the only people who know where that line is are the ones who found it and crossed it this expedition to the frozen somariri was my attempt to find that line i heard stories of a place so cold that it froze everything that stepped outside so i set out past frozen rivers and boiling waters to find the highest lake in ladakh to experience the cold that rolls down our spine when the temperatures hit minus 30 degrees everything that you see here has been filmed with great hardship because everything shuts down in the freezing cold even your will what's up everyone and it begins the trip that i've been waiting for for the last 6 months the trip that i hope is going to change me for a for a better person uh one update that we have lost one person not like she's not dead but uh, abandoned ship they've gone back but this is a good time to quit if you have to because it's going to get really crazy i have no idea how this trip is going to go i know it's going to be extreme i just want to find out what and what point do i break uh two more people which you have not seen before that's walid and tupa hi i have a feeling you'll see much more of them on on this trip because i don't expect much from the people in the other car over there as long as they can survive and not cry too much i'm good let's wait for the views So now we have reached Upshi. This is the place where you have to show your papers before you can move forward. And this is the last place that uh, before Chumatang where you can actually have tea, eat some food. So if you're going to Somariri, definitely stop over here. And I've been here before, but this place is much more beautiful right now than uh, it used to be. And I treaded the snow for that. time to go and see the chumatang hot springs last time i came over here it was too dark so i couldn't explore the place now we are here in broad daylight so let's see what's the big deal about this place so one very important thing to know about chumatang is that the two sides to it on the right side where we are going right now is where the hot spring meets the river but you also see a lot of garbage on the way If you just visit this side you're going to be like no big deal but the real beauty is on the left side where you see the actual hot spring where the bubbles are coming out of the ground let me show you both
bridge. I'm not sure you've ever seen it like this. Look at how frozen it is. So, I just don't think there's anything more magical looking that I've ever seen in my life than this. The entire place is frozen. It's like white magic. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. Check it out. Kyagurso was really incredible. I was so focused on Somariri that I had forgotten about this incredible gem that comes right before. And frankly, I wanted to stay longer. But that was not an option because it was getting dark and we needed to reach Somariri as quickly as possible because we had no water and it still needed to be fetched from a hand pump which we didn't know would be working. We need to light a fire, but there are no trees in Somariri. So we would have to depend on sheep dung to keep us warm. Yes, all of this was beautiful, but it demanded a price. A price we thought we were ready to pay. Next morning, we would face the gauntlet. Stay tuned. <laughs> 